In this demo, let's take a look at how we can use the OCI document understanding service to extract specific key value pairs from a document along with some supporting OCI services along the way. We'll be looking at insurance quotes for commercial buildings which are sent from an insurance provider to an insurance broker. Let's take a look at this example document. We can see different bits of information such as the name insured, the policy start date, the policy end date. We have different limits, whether that's an each occurrence limit or an aggregate limit. And we have various premium values as well. And if we scroll down to the second page, we also have some extra metrics such as the commission rate. Now, as a data scientist, I might need some input from our insurance broker to let us know which key value pairs they're actually interested in extracting. And very kindly, my insurance broker has gone ahead and lent me a helping hand and they've highlighted exactly the key value pairs they would like the custom model to extract for us. So we have nine in total, which is the name insured, the rating, the policy start date, both the limits, the three premium values, and on the second page, the commission value. Now that we understand the key value pairs the insurance broker is interested in extracting, we can go ahead and head over to the OCI data labeling service to label our training documents so that they're ready to be passed into our custom key value extraction model. Now I've labeled nine out of the 10 documents already. So let's go ahead and look at labeling the final one. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up my document. Now I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit and we can see that there's been bounding boxes drawn around every single word on our document. And this is done using OCR or optical character recognition. So the labeling service has automatically detected that this word in this box is two and it's 97% confident. Now, all we have to start doing is selecting the key value pairs that we're interested with and associating them with a label. So for example, name insured, I can click on the name and select the label as name insured. And I can do that both for the first name and last name. Next, we have the rating, which is located down here. And I can associate these values with the appropriate key, which is the rating. Next, we have the policy period. So let's do that. And if I scroll down, we've got the two limits, the each occurrence limit. We have our aggregate limit. And then we have our three premium values, the annual premium, the terrorism premium, and the total premium. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on save and next. But before I do that, you can notice at the bottom, it's gone ahead and generated us a summary of our keys in bold and the associated values next to it. So this will be used as input to our machine learning model to start learning what key value pairs we want to extract and where they're located on the document. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and next so we can go ahead and label the second page which has our commission value. So I can select our commission and once again associate it with its label. So there we can see it in the summary as well. And then finally, I can click on save and next. Now that all our documents are labeled, I can now train our custom key value extraction model using this data set as input. Now I can use the document understanding service to create and train my custom key value extraction model based off my label data set. So within my project, I'm gonna go ahead and create a model. At the top, the type I've chosen is key value extraction. And for our training data, we're gonna use an existing data set. And that data set we created through the data labeling service. And you can see here it's automatically selected our insurance quote document label data set we created earlier. So I can go ahead and click on next. I can then give it a name. So let's call this insurance quote KV extraction. 
And then I can choose the training duration. So I'm just going to stick with the recommended training. And this could take up to 24 hours. But because our data set is only 10 documents, it won't go anywhere near that. We're looking at around 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then create and train. Now this will go ahead and train a custom key value extraction model based on the label data set we provided. Now, like I said, this might take around 20 minutes, so I'll join you when this is completed. Now the model's finished training and we can see it took around 0.2 of an hour, so roughly 12 to 13 minutes to train the model. We can see it trained it on 18 documents and here, when it says documents, it actually refers to pages. So 18 pages or nine documents, and it tested it on two pages or one document. So I would take some of the evaluation metrics with a pinch of salt, but you can see it outputs precision, recall, and accuracy of around 78%. So it was getting around seven out of nine of the key value pairs correct. And since we only trained on 10 documents, I'd say it did pretty well. But in reality, what you'd want to do is train this on maybe 50 or 100 documents. Now the model is trained and deployed, I can use the model OSID, which is located here, along with the OCI SDK to call the model and make predictions on new insurance quote documents. I will test this out by calling my key value extraction model from within an application via an API call and get the results returned to the screen for the insurance broker to assess. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Before I go ahead and upload a new insurance quote document, let's have a quick look behind the scenes of my application. Within the OCI data science environment, which is currently hosting my application, I've used the Python OCI SDK to make an API call to submit an uploaded document to my deployed model and have the results returned. So we can see here at the top the location of my model. We can see I'm defining the input, which is my new quote insurance document, the location of where the output's going to be stored. And then you can see we kick off a job, which will submit my new document to the key value extraction model and return the results back to me. Now let's have a quick preview of the document we're going to upload to the model. So once again, it's in a very similar format with slightly different values for things like the name insured, the policy start date, each occurrence limit, the different premiums. So this is a document that the model has never seen before. And what we can do is go ahead and upload it to our application. So I can go ahead and drag and drop my document and click on submit. What this will do is go ahead and send my new document to our model and return the results. So we can see here it's gone ahead and extracted the nine key value pairs we were expecting. So the name insured, the rating, policy start date, the occurrence limit, aggregate limit, the different premiums and the commission. The great thing is I can scroll down and it will also give me an output of my document and highlight where it's found my key value pairs. Now having a quick look at that, it looks like it's done pretty accurate job. The only thing I can see it's missed is just one character from the rating. However, it looks like it's captured all the other key value pairs. So like I said, this was only trained on 10 documents. However, if this was trained on maybe 50, 60, if not 100 documents, it would be a lot more accurate at detecting the key value pairs. So thank you for joining us on this journey to explore how we use the OCI Document Understanding Service to build a custom key value extraction model on top of our insurance quote documents.